My name is Wolfgang Moser. I am from Vienna, Austria. When I was 12 years old, my parents took me to a shopping mall. There was a beautiful young girl performing magic tricks. I had to buy this magic trick. I gave her all the money I had, and when I opened it up, all I got was a little piece of thread. And that's when I fell in love with magic. Even if you just have a piece of thread, what you can do with it can be a real miracle. I do a couple of tricks with liquids and they seem particularly magical because it seems more impossible to manipulate liquid. Tonight I will perform one of the oldest magic tricks in the book. This has been performed in Greece and in Roman times. I found a new version how to perform this trick and I try to fool Penn and Teller with it. I want to show you a trick that I found in an almost 2,000 year old magic book. And the name of this trick is Water into Wine. A true miracle. <laughs> All we need is a teapot. Would you like to help me? Please stand up. I want you to check out this teapot. So please open it up and look inside. Make sure that it's empty and just an ordinary teapot, okay? Furthermore, we need some water. Would you like to help me as well? Please stand up. I want you to taste this water. And please confirm for everybody that this is in fact just Water. Water. You seem disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry. But what about the teapot? It's empty. Yes, sir. Just an ordinary teapot, okay? So we have the teapot. We have the water. Now all I need is someone who likes to enjoy a good glass of wine. How about you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, wonderful. I also have a glass for you. And could you please uh, check out the glasses as well? Make sure they're empty. There are no powders, no chemicals. Look at the glasses. Yes? Wonderful. So, for the first time in 2,000 years, water into wine. Now, it looks like wine. It smells like wine. Please, go ahead and taste this. And not only does it look like wine, not only does it smell like wine, it is... Wine. Hallelujah! Thank you. you can sit down. Thank you. Now, in this old magic book, the trick ended at this point, but maybe you uh, prefer some white wine. It's, it's no problem. Let's do another miracle. Water into white wine. And could you please taste this? And if this is a real genuine white wine, just say hallelujah. 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 Thank you very much. Now, I think it's time for a toast. And I think this moment calls for a cold, sparkling beer. Cheers, everybody. I brought some books because I want someone to choose a uh, drink. Would you like to help me? Could you please stand up? Hold on to the teapot here. Uh, first, I want you to choose one of these books. Which one do you like? This one in the middle? Sure. Yes. This one is, uh, that is great because there are over a hundred different cocktails and party drinks in here. Um, you could choose one of these. So I'll just flip through and you just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Okay. So that's uh, uh, sex on the beach. <laughs> it's a good choice. I like this. This is vodka, cranberry juice, orange juice, and peach schnapps. All right, I also have a glass for you. Please check out the glass. So we have uh, vodka, orange juice, cranberry juice, schnapps. So let's see, for the first time in 2000 years, <laughs> water into sex on the beach. Please go ahead and taste this. If this is a real sex on the beach, just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Now, we have enough water left for one last miracle. Uh, would you like to help me? What's your name? Camry. Camry, would you like to join me? You know, I'm from Vienna. And Vienna is famous for its coffee. So I'd like to make some real Viennese coffee for you. And you have to help me. Could you open up your hand? Put this on your, on your hand because actually you will do this all by yourself. Okay. And I will tell you how this teapot works. You just have to imagine this coffee. First the color, getting darker and darker. And next the smell and the flavor. And try to feel it in your nose. You have it? Very important is also the temperature. Could you please imagine the teapot getting warmer and warmer? Feel the teapot. It's getting hot? It's getting hot? <laughs> can, you, can you smell? What does it look like? Looks like coffee. It looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, right? And it's a real... Hot. Coffee!
Please clap. Have a sip. Coffee. Coffee. Thank you very much. I, I think for real Viennese coffee, there's now only one last thing missing. <laughs> so, do you prefer old tricks to new tricks? Yes, I love old tricks. I love reading old magic books and find old tricks that nobody does anymore and recreate them for the day. That's so cool. And so, how long does this take to work on? Oh, uh, this trick took me about three years to, to finish. Uh, and I also did a lot of research into the history of this trick, which is fascinating. And I'm performing this for six years now, seven years. Wow. Okay, they're ready. P and T, what do you think? Wolfgang, um, boy, we loved the biblical allusions. That's the way to our heart. But you're also going back to the plot, not only goes to water to wine, but also a trick called think a drink. Yes. And that's very misleading, because think a drink is kind of a lousy trick. <laughs> the teapot can't be examined at the top. There's compartments. You fixed all that. You took all the stuff we don't like about think a drink and made it better. And the teapot is very, very magical. We don't think it's the only really magical container on stage. There's a lot of magical stuff going on here. And like many, many people, you got very lucky with uh, Sex on the Beach, as, uh, as many people do in both senses. And what we're trying to say here is not only do you get lucky with Sex on the Beach, you always get lucky with Sex on the Beach. <laughs> And most of the time, when you want to uh, make coffee, you have to do some sort of switch to make that coffee go on. And we didn't see you hit a switch on the side of it, but we still think there was a switch there. This is something that maybe the audience doesn't understand as much as we do, but you've taken a really shabby, obvious trick and turned it into a, uh, a real puzzler, but I don't think completely fooled us. Okay. Boy, what do you think? they're turning on us. <laughs> so, are you convinced they know how you did the trick? I'm afraid, yes. No. <laughs> it's wonderful, man. Oh, so great, so great.